In the shadows of ancient history, a figure emerges, embodying both the fury of a warrior and the chains of slavery. This is the tale of Spartacus, a Thracian by birth, who would rise from the depths of despair to challenge the might of Rome. His story is not just a saga of rebellion, but a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Join us on this journey through time as we unravel the legend of Spartacus, the gladiator who dared to defy an empire. Born in the rugged terrains of Thrace, a land now lost to the annals of southeastern Europe, Spartacus's early life remains shrouded in mystery. Ancient texts conflict in their accounts, but they converge on one point. Spartacus was no ordinary man. Some say he was part of the Maidi tribe, and whispers in the corridors of history suggest he once fought alongside the Romans as a soldier. His path, however, took a dark turn, leading him to be branded a deserter, a bandit, and ultimately a slave. The chains of slavery bound Spartacus to the gladiatorial school of Gnaeus Lentulus Batiatus in Capua. Here, amidst the blood and sand of the arena, Spartacus's destiny began to unfold. He forged bonds of brotherhood with fellow gladiators, including Crixus and Oinomaus, bonds that would later become the backbone of his uprising. It was here, too, that a strange omen occurred, a serpent coiling upon the sleeping Spartacus, a sign his wife, a prophetess of his tribe, interpreted as a harbinger of immense power and eventual tragedy, the year 73 BCE marked the turning point. Spartacus, along with 78 comrades, broke free from their shackles, armed initially with nothing more than kitchen utensils. Their escape was the spark that ignited a firestorm. They soon armed themselves with proper gladiator weapons and fled to Mount Vesuvius, a place destined for its own cataclysmic fate in the future. From this stronghold, Spartacus's ranks swelled, drawing nearly 90,000 slaves, each yearning for freedom from Rome's oppressive grip. Rome, underestimating Spartacus, sent several legions to quell the rebellion. Yet Spartacus, with cunning and bravery, outmaneuvered them all. The Roman commanders, including Praetus Claudius Glaber and Publius Verinius, faced humiliating defeats. Spartacus's army, now a formidable force, even captured Varinius, parading him in disgrace. The rebels' victories were not just military triumphs, but symbols of resistance against a corrupt empire. As Spartacus's legend grew, so did his ambitions. He sought to lead his followers to freedom, away from Italy's clutches. The Alps beckoned as a route to liberation, but fate had other plans. His army, drunk on victory, chose plunder over escape, sealing their fate. Spartacus then aided Sicily, hoping to find refuge and perhaps kindle another slave uprising. He struck a perilous deal with Cilician pirates, but treachery awaited. The pirates vanished, leaving Spartacus and his army stranded. Their dreams of escape dashed. In 71 BCE, the final act of Spartacus's odyssey unfolded. Marcus Licinius Crassus, Rome's wealthiest man, stepped onto the stage. Crassus, determined and ruthless, brought eight legions and reinstated the brutal practice of decimation to instill fear in his troops. Spartacus, sensing the gravity of the situation, sought peace, but Crassus sought only victory. The two forces clashed, and in the ensuing battle Spartacus fell, his body never to be found. Crassus, in a grim display of power, crucified 6,000 of Spartacus's followers along the Appian Way, a chilling message to any who dared defy Rome. Yet, Spartacus's legacy transcended his death. He became a symbol of resistance, inspiring figures like Toussaint Louverture, the Black Spartacus who fought for Haiti's freedom centuries later. The story of Spartacus is a complex tapestry of heroism and brutality. He fought for freedom, yet his path was marked by destruction and suffering. His motives remain a subject of debate among historians. Was he a hero, a liberator, or simply a man caught in the tides of history? His legend endures, 
a reminder of the eternal struggle for freedom and the human cost of rebellion. As we close this chapter of history, we reflect on the legacy of Spartacus. His life was a mosaic of triumph and tragedy, a saga that continues to captivate and inspire. What are your thoughts on this enigmatic figure? Share your views and join us again as we delve into the annals of time, uncovering the stories that shaped our world. Thanks for watching and God bless you.